To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Hey guys. Hey guys. Oh, you got it that time. <laughs> we were in sync. It's Tim I'm with my very funny wife. No, I'm No, she very actually is funny. pretty funny. She is very funny. I'm she is pretty funny. definitely the most funniest. Funny? No. Funnier? Funny? Funniest. She's the funniest out of the two of us. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, episode 11. No, we didn't realize last episode, last week was episode 10. I know. I know. We should have done something like <laughs> big to celebrate. Something special. Uh, but we didn't. Oh, well, maybe so, we'll do it on the 20th. Yeah, maybe 20. Mm-hmm. Maybe 100 if we get there. Oh, we'll get there. Okay. That's my goal. It's only 100 weeks, so that's like a little over two years. A little under two years. Right. If yeah. We, if we keep up this yeah. weekly schedule. So yeah. we're a little late on this Sunday night, and we yeah. release these on Mondays, Monday morning. So we're, this is going to be a quick turnaround. Yeah, we ran out of time. Yeah, it was a busy because week. Because we just got back from Disneyland. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a fun trip. And so yes. our main goal for this was was twofold, threefold. <laughs> One it was our anniversary. Yes. Two, it was to get away from our older kids. <laughs> because with the the pandemic, we have not been away from them in three years. Mm-hmm. Because it was our anniversary before the pandemic, which was almost a year before the pandemic. So it had yeah. been three years since we had gone away from yeah. the kids. Yeah. yeah. And so we do have new baby. Oh, she's not new anymore, but... <gasps> She's new. She's one year new. Uh, That's so still we, really new. It is new. Compared to our 11-year-old <laughs> who's been here f- with us forever. Um, uh, so, yeah, she did come with us. And the third reason was we wanted just to do a chill Disneyland trip. Yeah. And see what we could do without buying Disney Plus. Yeah. G- Genie it's, Plus. Genie Plus. Especially with taking the baby. It was like, okay... We're not going to be hitting all the big rides unless we constantly want to be doing single rider and taking turns, which we didn't want to do because Mm -hmm. we wanted to spend time together on this (laughs) anniversary trip. Um, And yeah, so just it was really, like you said, just to get away and just to be there, not like our usual, like all the rides we want to do. It was just, even if we didn't ride any rides, and we just, like, walked around and ate and shopped and just, like, sat and enjoyed the ambiance, which mm-hmm. is amazing. So, so we yeah, did not get Genie Plus. No, we did not get okay, Genie but Plus. We, we, we did. We, we need did. to eat a little. We yeah, or you. Uh, I do. Mainly it was you totally need me. to, was to totally eat me. a little crow here. Yeah. So, um, if you listened to last week's about hotels, and when we talked about the Disneyland Hotel and Tim's hot tip about requesting the Adventure Tower and how they always do something special if you tell them it's your anniversary, da da da. Well, <laughs> also about our little dispute about the Frontier Tower and where it was, um, we did not get Adventure Tower. We got Frontier Tower, which yeah. we had never stayed in before. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of funny timing that not only did they not where they they were not able to fulfill our request of the Adventure Tower. But we talked about how we had never stayed in the Frontier Tower, and then we had the dispute on where the Frontier Tower was, and then a couple of days later, we were we got a room in the Frontier Tower. Um, and they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything for our <laughs> I kind of wonder if they've been told to like kind of cut back on that type of thing financially, because... They did give us the pins, like your cell or like happily ever after pins. Yeah. And we've done that a few times on anniversaries. And mm-hmm. usually they would say something, do something, and yeah. nothing. Yeah. So our room wasn't the one we requested at all. There was nothing in our room. Yeah. Like we said, like last I mean, time we, they did. We like had, We got the room that we paid for. We got a standard view room. Mm. Um, two queen beds. 
we were overlooking we weren't looking the we didn't have the view of the pool we had the view of the downtown disney parking lot because yeah, we were on the 11th floor so we're like hey maybe this will yeah. be good and then we go Teasing to the floor us. and i realize oh we're on that side yeah so Odd we, side. we had the, the downtown the, the downtown disney parking lot view um but at first I was bummed because I was like, oh, it's the forever fireworks. So this is the fireworks they did during the 60th and they are so good. And I knew we probably weren't going to be able to stay that late with Georgia in the park. And I'm like, no, we can't watch it from our room either. And that's what I was thinking. Like, oh, that'll be nice. We can put her to sleep and then watch it. But there were no fireworks. They are not no. doing fireworks during the week right now until the summer. They're only doing it on the weekends. So then I was like, oh, okay. I don't care. Wait a minute. They're but, still doing, they're doing the Mickey Mix magic projection show. Right, which we've seen show. a bunch of times. And, yeah. Um, so, so yeah. So the fact that we didn't have a good view was like, ah, oh, it's fine. Um, but yeah, it was just funny because we had just, we had recorded that podcast, I think, two days before. Yeah. And uh, so it was pretty funny. Yeah. But, um, but still, like Disneyland Hotel is still great. Um, I also, um, I had to backtrack a bit because from, I said that the Paradise Pier was the longest walk. Which I still think it's a bit of a farther walk if you're staying in the Adventure or the Frontier Tower. No, I'm sorry. The Adventure or Fantasy Tower. But if you're staying in the Frontier Tower, it's a little bit of a farther walk. Mm -hmm. And it might be about equal to Paradise Pier. I don't know. Because Paradise Pier, you you have to cross the street. Right. But you come in. But it's actually, it's across the street where where Disneyland Hotel is on this side of the street in Frontier. Okay. When When we were leaving and we were driving down... Disneyland Drive. Mm-hmm. Um, I was looking around. I was like, "Oh, me actually, like you, you aren't in downtown Disney right away." Mm-hmm. But I think it might not be that much farther than like Frontier Tower. Oh, okay. But anyways, that's not yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. So the first day when we got there, like we only we got, got there, there Monday afternoon. Yeah, and so. Um, we weren't planning on getting much done. We did have dinner reservations at Cafe Orleans and, um, you know, we got in and we just kind of, we took it slow. We waited in line for Small World um, and it was, because we didn't get Genie Plus and we, it was was nice because we didn't, I didn't have any like, oh, I want to get to this ride, this ride, this ride. So we waited like 40 minutes for Small World, which I don't think I've ever, and it's my favorite ride, but I don't think I've ever waited that long for it because I always wait until it's a short line Mm -hmm. but we had nothing else to do yeah so it was like okay i wanted to ride it and we didn't have anything else to do until our dinner reservation so everything everything was about that wait um and so yeah and it wasn't like oh but then we're not gonna have time to do matterhorn it was like no we don't we didn't i didn't have like any expectations yeah there were no, <laughs> there weren't three boys asking for different rides or snacks or anything like that. So it was just chill. Um, and I just, I wanted to eat and relax. And so we rode Small World and then I think we just made our way over to our. Yeah. Then we went to Cafe Orleans. I think we shopped a bit. Like, yeah, yeah it was just really chill. Yeah. Cafe Orleans, which, um, so we had reservations. I talked about the Monte Cristo. Mm-hmm. You guys, it still tastes good, but it is too much. It didn't make me sick or anything like that, but I could barely, it's, you know, two halves of a sandwich and I could barely finish one. And, and that's half the, the, are you sure? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'll have to look back. I'm going to look back at, because I know I've taken pictures of that sandwich before, but they're not on my phone anymore because it's been a long time. I'll have to look back. And see, um, I, I do feel like there, was, were four. there were four slices. Yeah, no, there it, were two, but I could barely finish one. It's so fried. <laughs> we could have shared that and been totally oh, yeah. fine. Oh yeah, um, which I was bummed because so Disneyland restaurants will move dishes to different mm-hmm. restaurants. Um, so if they usually serve it at Hungry Bear. And they stop, maybe they're serving it at a different restaurant in the park. So Lamplight Lounge, when we ate there three years ago, I got the Ratatouille, and it was so good, and I loved it. They now serve that at 
Cafe, Cafe Orleans. Orleans. But I was like, oh, I'll get that tomorrow because we had on our anniversary we had reservations at Lamplight Lounge. And so I got the Monte Cristo. Could barely finish it. Still tasted good, but just like so fried yeah. that I was just like felt kind of gross after. Even though the taste is good, it was just like it's a lot. Um, and then the next day. When we were at Lamplight Lounge, they stopped serving the ratatouille. <laughs> so I was like, oh. Yeah. But anyways. And then, yeah, so um, after that, <laughs> we just got a treat and we went back to the yeah, room. They we didn't have the so fireworks. Tired. We were really tired. You, Yeah. And I, just, I didn't feel like pushing Georgia to, like yeah. past her breaking point because she's not great in the car. So we had had, you know, the long drive and she was... You know, just done. Um, and the next day was our one full day, so I didn't want to push her. And so we just, yeah, we got churro mm-hmm. and just went back. Just went back we tried to go take the monorail, but it was closed. It was closed. It closed <laughs> early. It closed at 7 um, instead of park closing. Yeah, so real chill. And then, um, so the next day. Next day. Tuesday. Yeah. And we were doing, we were starting off in Disneyland. And then finishing in California. And um, I was super anxious all, all night <laughs> and in the morning because if you saw our, if you follow us on Instagram, then you know that I had made a reservation for you at, is it Savi? Savi's. Savi's yeah. workshop to make your custom lightsaber. Mm-hmm. So this was your anniversary gift. So, I would never buy this for myself. No. And you'd been wanting to do it. I've been, I wanted to do it, it in Disney. I wanted to, do, yeah. And I wanted to do it Disney World. But, it was just things were just getting so expensive yeah. there. And I was well, like, and one thing you've always said, or at least in the last year that they've been reopened, is that they only allow you to have one guest mm-hmm. with you. And you were like, "How would I? Like, we have three boys who are all obsessed with Star and they Wars. They all wanted to be there, and then they would all fight, and it would either be like nobody. It would be nobody. Nobody got to go mm-hmm. <laughs> because you couldn't choose one of them. That would not be fair." Um, and so I had made this reservation, I don't know, two or three weeks before, uh, we went, but I didn't tell you about it. And I was, when I was making the reservation, I was trying to figure out a good time. Cause I was like, okay, you know, if you want to rope drop rise of the resistance, like I have no idea how long that will take. Like, will it take 30 minutes? Will you walk right on? Will it still be a 45 minute wait? Um, and so I was kind of trying to steer you away from rope dropping rise just because I wasn't sure how long it would take um and but I knew we had talked about eating lunch because we had never eaten anywhere in um Galaxy's Edge so I was like okay if I make it around lunchtime then I should be good um but I didn't want to tell you until that day yeah so um so yeah so I told you well yeah you're you're doing like a I was pretending you're doing a little social video and like I wanted to get to the park because it was like we had 15 minutes of park opening and I wanted to, because I, at that point we knew we were going to buy individual lightning lane for, for rise. Yes. Cause we were, and yeah. so I'm like, no, going off my experience, because this is the first time that we've been to Disneyland with Genie Plus because we were use Genie Plus first in Disney World and everything sells mm-hmm. out within seconds. Yeah. And so I didn't know what to expect with Disneyland. And so I was like, I wanted to get in the park right away. Because you can't book it till you're in the park. Yeah. So yeah. you're making this video and you're like, stop, you know, stop. I can't see you when you're walking that fast. We need to stop. And I was like, no, we got to get going. <laughs> Which I really couldn't because <laughs> the sun was in my eyes and I couldn't see if you were like on the, and well, and the boys knew about it. And so they wanted a video of when I told you you were doing it. And so I told them that I would get a video and send it to them. Um, So, yeah, I was trying to, to get you to stop. I was, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. It was, I was very excited. So that that was great. So that was fun. So once I told him that I could relax because then I could be like, okay, now I can tell him why I don't want to like do this or that. Um, but yeah, so we, um, we decided to rope drop Space Mountain. Um, Hyperspace Mountain. Yes, it was Hyperspace Mountain right now, so that's super fun. And um, we got the rider switch, um, and you rope dropped. You waited, what, maybe 10 minutes? 10 minutes. I walked around I, pretty And much. then they actually had the rider switch, had you go through the exit, which they have done 
that's what they used to do. Like back did you, when Jack was Did they was have a, baby. a cast member that mm-hmm. was there to scan your ticket? Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, when Jack was a baby, most rides were, you go through the exit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they, over the last 10 years, they've changed it to most rides. They have, they would have you go to the fast pass lane. Yeah. Um, and then in Disney world, a lot of them had you go through the, through the lightning lane. Um, but space mountain had me go through the exit, which is usually nicer because no one is going through the exit. Sometimes they'll have, um, like the wheelchair access will sometimes yeah. be through the exit on some rides, but, less people than the lightning lane. So mm-hmm. I literally walked right on. They saw me come up and they were like, Hey, yeah. Okay. You know, row seven or whatever. Like I walked right on the right. Um, and we wanted to test our theory, um, that we, in our genie plus episode, if you listen to that, we were talking about how, if we, for individual lightning lane, you might not need to buy it for everyone in your party. If you're doing a rider switch, mm-hmm. Because with Rider Switch, you get to go in the lightning lane. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to test that out. Yeah. So, so we did. We did. And uh, um, it worked, but I don't know if it's something that we would recommend you do yeah. in the future because it is it is tricky because when – when so we bought the – Riders, uh, the the individual lightning lane for Rise, uh, right when so we, we got in the park, one. it was yeah we just bought one. It's twenty bucks. Ugh, oh, so expensive. Ridiculous for one person. So um, well, and and I just want to say this too. Mm-hmm. I did not have to ride it. No. So that's why we felt okay with testing out this theory. Is because mm-hmm. I was like, if I don't get on it, it's not that big of a deal. Like yeah. if it would have been my favorite ride, I would have been like, oh, but then if it doesn't work, I won't. I'll have to like. You know, what if I don't have time to do the standby lane, standby line if it's an hour and a half, you know, but I, I could have not ridden Rise and I would mm-hmm. have been okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, so we bought it and the return time was like, I think it was like 930, something like that. Mm-hmm. So it was it wasn't, and I think I got it like 10 or 15 minutes after park opening. I mean, Disney World, it sells out within seconds of yeah. it being 7 o'clock. Yeah, and it, it was... And so, so it, I think they were still available until like the mid-afternoon. But anyways... Um, well, but that's good to know. Yeah. So that if you're like, oh, I gotta get to park open, I might be sold out. I don't think they sell out that's, as yeah, fast. One thing we noticed with Genie Plus, even on busy days, because it, I mean, it was somewhat busy. It wasn't the busiest I've seen it, but... It was busy Monday afternoon. It was busy Monday. Tuesday not, and Wednesday were not as busy. Yeah. Um, into the afternoon on those days, there were still many Genie Plus and individual Lightning Lane selections yeah. still available within an hour of the yeah. current time. It wasn't like we're we're in Disney World, you know, right at at you can make your selections at seven a.m. and you'd get return times for. 6 7 p.m. that night yeah um and so yeah so it it it, it, it was much more usable mm-hmm. in disneyland even though we didn't use it i just noticed that it would, would be much easier to churn or yeah. even stack you were keeping track selections. you were yeah. looking at the selections even though we didn't have it just yeah. out of curiosity yeah. and i think one thing is too it's it with disney world because everyone can go on at 7 a.m if you're staying on property then everybody's on at 7 a.m where you can't get it until you enter the park. So even mm-hmm. if everyone lines up at 7 a.m. to get into the park by 8, people are going, you're entering in at different times. It's staggered. So it's going to yeah. be staggered. Mm-hmm. And um, so I think it, it might run a little more smoothly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah going so, back in, into Rise. So we bought the individual Lightning Lane and we wanted to test if we could use rider switch as well instead of buying two individual lightning lanes. So short story. Yes, it worked, but mm-hmm. with a caveat. Uh, so we went up to rise. I went up to the cast member and say, can we get a rider switch? He's like, okay, yeah, no problem. Who's going to be staying behind. And you know, you raise your hand mm-hmm. when you're holding Georgia. And he says, okay, let me see your ticket. We'll scan it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's just her coming back. Yes. Um, and you're like, okay, you're all set. And then as I walk by, as I walk away, I hear him say, oh, just make sure to go, by, go into the standby line. 
Oh, you didn't tell me. me that. So yeah, and I was like, I, but that's I, my back was already away from him. So was he talking to you? I, I think so. I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, it makes sense because we'll we'll talk about yeah. racers. Yeah. We had a similar situation um, that we wanted huh. to test with that too. So, because we walked away, we walked to, away to kind of park me in Georgia where we yeah. would be when, when he was done. Because I didn't want, because I was afraid that if if I scanned that and went directly into the lightning lane, he'd be like, oh, wait, hold up. Mm. This is only for those who go on the standby line. Because that was my thought. Yeah. Um, which, prob- so, which is probably, probably true. Probably what would happen. And yeah. um, so, yes, it did work. I was able to go through it in. The lightning lane line, rode the ride, we swapped, you went through the lightning went through lane the lightning using lane. the ride, rider switch. But it's like, I don't think we could recommend this because yeah. they may see you do that yeah. and they may say, that's you. I'm sorry, but you can't use it that way. Yeah. Rider switch is only for the, the first party to go through the standby line. Yeah. So yes, it worked. We were kind of tricky with it. I can't really recommend it because yeah. I don't want you all to get in trouble. Right. And if it's, I mean, they would just tell you and then on what they would do is they would cancel your rider switch. Yeah. Which um, is what happened for Radiator yeah. Springs racers. We'll get to that. Uh, later in the um, day or the next day. But it, if it's a ride, you don't really care. If if it's a, a ride that one person in your party doesn't really care about, like me, I, I would have been fine. And you want to try it to save money? You know, okay. Yeah. Um, but if it's like, no, I really want to write it, huh, then I would say you should probably just buy it because. The reason why I think it worked for Rise is because that area gets so crowded. It was so crowded. We that walked they can, away. We walked away. We got, you got, you guys got situated. Yeah. And then I walked in on the other side of the line yeah. um, to where that cast member couldn't see me. Yeah. Um, it's so not like you were hiding from I them. Hiding it was just, it, yeah. it was just. The it's way just, that, the, crowded. how crowded it was. It's just yeah. crowded. So yeah. they're dealing with so. a lot of people who have lots of questions about yeah. stuff. So, yeah. There's so, that. yeah, it worked. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. You know, use, you know, um, um, what's that phrase? Your own discretion. Uh, yeah. So. Um, but, yeah, so then after that, we just kind of walked around. We had some time um, before your reservation. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we just, again... We weren't in a rush or anything. Um, so we actually had some friends that we know who live in Canada, <laughs> who we've actually never met in person, um, were there at the same time. And we like ran into them, which mm-hmm. was cool. And then we visited with them for a little bit. And then it was, you know, you got to do the uh, yeah, Savi's workshop. workshop, which was pretty awesome. I just, I felt, I mean, it was a really neat experience. Felt a little rushed through it. Oh my gosh, they talk so fast. Yeah. And, so fast. And Which I'm and, sure you'll make a video of it. Yeah, or yeah. I don't, we, well don't watch if you want to do it and you want it to be special. Don't yeah. well, don't watch whatever. But I mean <laughs> it's it's for any Star Wars fan, you know, lightsabers are iconic with Star Wars. And so the ability to build your own from scratch. You're given, you know, four different categories to choose from. And each category has a different style. And in each of those styles, there's two different sets of pieces mm-hmm. that that go to your lightsaber. And so you can have a bunch of, you can combine those two different sets to create your unique looking lightsaber. Mm-hmm. And obviously you you select the color by the, the, the crystal that, that you select. The Kyber uh, the crystal. The Kyber, Kyber. I don't want to get too nerdy, but you know. The Kyber crystal. Kyber, Kyber, Kyber crystal. Kyber crystal. Even I know that. So you choose your Kyber crystal. That determines the color of your lightsaber. Uh, they have uh, red, purple, green, blue. That's it. That's it. There's just the four. Um, and uh, so, yeah. And, I mean, these are really high quality. I mean, they're made out of metal. They're not like the the ones you get like at Star Trader or like the yeah. the stores are like uh, plastic. I mean, these are made out of metal and they have a lot of heft to them. I mean, you're paying 
over two hundred dollars for the experience. Why so. are you saying? <laughs> why are you saying? This? I mean, it's common knowledge. So I you know, look at it, you see how but, much it is. But um, it's part the experience and part you know the lightsaber. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I did feel like it was definitely rushed, which I'm sure you know they kind of have to do. They're getting all these people through. There's, there's. If you go on the app when where you can make the reservation, you can also walk up too. Um, there's a chance that they won't have anything though. Um, there was a lot of availability, and it's like every 15 minutes that I could choose. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. They, yeah. I think at first it <laughs> was there. Like it that. was. Um. It was booked up a lot. When it first opened, yeah, obviously, but it, it wasn't. I, yeah. I, because I chose several different times <laughs> before I confirmed it, just trying to figure out what if we do this or what if we get here and what if this is long or whatever. Yeah. So there was plenty of options. Yeah. Um, and uh, and yeah. I mean, it's actually a long. It's like a little over fifteen minutes. The whole mm-hmm. experience mm-hmm. and and it's really cool. It's very Star Warsy, very nerdy. Yes. And, yes. <laughs> and uh, it's, it was pretty cool and uh, it was a lot of fun and. And, uh, but, uh, for those who are wondering, I got a blue lightsaber. <laughs> so you can also buy, um, different color kyber crystals yeah. and then change the color. And you of can your change the color saber. after, after the fact, if you want yeah. to, so you can have different crystals, but they sell out of those a lot. Oh, so Which, when I, yeah, when didn't, I, when I went any. to go, I wanted to buy some more and they, oh, we're all sold out. Mm, no. So, but, uh, so yeah, that was fun. And then we ate a galaxy. I ate at galaxy's edge for the first time. I ate a hunger bear. So I got the mm. Ronto wrap, mm. which was very good. I would, it's like a really nice Costco hot dog. <laughs> which you didn't get the slaw on I didn't it. get the slaw. I don't like coleslaw. But it still comes. It's like a, wrapped in a in a pita bread, like a fat flat bread, cell type bread. Um, but the sausage. It's not just a hot dog. It's like a sausage. And then there's also another like layer of meat. I forget what other type of layer of meat it is. Other it's like a. I don't know if it's pork or something else. But um, and it had like a peppercorn sauce. It was good. I yeah. liked it. I got the fried green tomato sandwich at it's Hungry Bear. Favorite. It. No, nah, I don't want to say it's my all-time favorite, but I, I really liked it. It was my favorite thing at Hungry Bear, but they took it away years ago, and I saw right before we went that it was back for a limited time, so I was like, I want that. So we did a mobile order for that, and then they had this like peach, honey, icy, slushy thing mm-hmm. um, drink that I saw, and I got that, and they were both very good. Did not disappoint. I don't know how long it's going to be back. Um, but that was nice too. It's like we got a table up in Hungry Bear. It always has a nice feet. Well, not always because you can sit downstairs at Hungry Bear and then you're right by the bathrooms. But if yeah. you're up on the main level, um, you know, and you walk back a little ways, you can just you sit and you're overlooking the, what is it, Rivers of America? Or mm-hmm. um, and, you know, Mark Twain kept going by and then the train on the other side. and um, It's all shaded. It's all shaded. It's just a nice little area. I just, mm-hmm. I, I really like Hungry Bear. We always eat there. Yeah. Um, and so that was super good. Mm-hmm. What did we do after that? <laughs> we went back to the room and took a nap. That's right. That's <laughs> so right. it was Georgia. Georgia needed a nap. And we had reservations at Lamplight Lounge. Mm-hmm. And we were like, well, when she takes a nap, what are we going to do? Like, we're just going to wander. So we took the monorail back. That's right. And um, I think I got another treat because I... No, no, no. I think I was okay with a slushy. maybe. I don't know. I like my treats. Um... But yeah, we took the monorail back and, um, and then, yeah, we got her down for a nap and then we laid down. She didn't take a great nap, so that was kind of disappointing. Uh, but it was still nice to just, you know, doze off for a little bit. Yeah. And then by that time it was time to just, you know, once she woke up to go back in for our, um, reservations in California adventure. Uh, so we did that. I think we had. No, we didn't have time for anything. We just went straight there. We, we went, just went straight, straight to Lamplight Lounge. Yeah. Um, we didn't get a seat outside because you, if you um, get seated outside, you're like right on the water where World of Color is. And we were on the we were on the inside, but it was still nice. We were like at the in the corner of this little booth, so I had yeah. room to let Georgia kind of like you know sit and crawl and cruise on the on the we weren't outside because it was it was really, really windy, windy and the day. wind was cold it was and so yeah i would but like it's a it's a very small menu there's much more um 
they have a lot of drinks. Yeah. Because uh, it's a, a full bar, um, but not a lot of food options. But I was like, oh, I don't, you know, I'm getting the ratatouille. No. It wasn't there. No, I'm not. And none of the other options sounded good. And so I got the Impossible Burger because I thought it would be similar to like a veggie burger. And the, well, it, the, it had a like. Burger. It, then why doesn't they say veggie burger? Because it's impossible. It's like. I don't understand this whole Impossible Burger thing, you it's, guys. It's, I don't it's understand. vegan. It's vegan. What's the difference between a vegan burger and a veggie burger? Veggie burger still uses like dairy products. Vegan doesn't, doesn't use How dirt. do you know this? You don't eat vegetables. Well, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I've outed you. Uh, yeah. Um, Anyways, it wasn't good. Yeah. It wasn't good. But you, it, st- you, still got, you still got the real cheese. You asked for the I real cheese. I did ask because I said like dairy-free cheese. I'm like, no, 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 no. Can I get real cheese on this? Um, I got the cheddar burger. It was really good. I should have just got that. Well, the other option was like a seafood. I don't like seafood. And the other option was seafood. I didn't really feel like a heavy burger. I thought it would be more like a typical veggie burger. Um, And it had like a garlic aioli sauce on it or something. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. Okay. It didn't have like any taste. Mm. Like it just wasn't good. I was pretty disappointed. But my drink was good. Um, You got the mint mint to be. I got, you know, non-alcoholic because got the baby. Yeah. Still feeding the baby, so I, I had um, the um, what was it called? The teaser, which is kind of like a, a gin, a, a, kind of a twist on a gin and tonic almost. Mm. But which love. a lot of their drinks are fun. They have like you know their Pixar theme. They have like mm. the scream canister, and, yeah, and stuff. But one thing I noticed: drinks, they're very expensive. Yeah, and they're very light on alcohol. Well, so if, you're at Disneyland. You should well, I know, be but like, it's like I, it's, I like a strong drink. I like to taste the alcohol. Okay. <laughs> I just like the strong taste of that. But and so I mean, it still tasted good. I'm not mm-hmm. so much one for like fruity sweet drinks. No, yeah. Um, it still tasted good. It was a little on the fruity side for me. Mm-hmm. Um, That's but uh, it was good. Uh, but yeah, it didn't have that strong bite yeah that i that i prefer but it was still good but the atmosphere and like the decor and everything is great because it's mm-hmm. all it's all pixar yeah um yeah and so i, it's I one really of my like, favorite places yeah I, I really like it there I'll, i just won't get that again <laughs> <laughs> do not get the I, and i even part. asked and i unless I, you're I, vegan I, and that's what you do and you like it go for go it go for it but i just don't like it um i even asked if they still made the ratatouille because sometimes they'll still make it yeah. it's just on the menu but no he didn't um, or they didn't. Um, but yeah. And then it was like, we rode Ariel. We rode the Little Mermaid ride with Gigi, which was her very first ride ever when she was four months and she screamed. I have a, a picture of her looking <laughs> absolutely terrified. Um, but she was into it this time. You know, she was just looking around. Um, and then I wanted the cake shake at Smoothie, Smoothie, Smoogies. Smoogies? Smoogies. 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 I can't say it. It's on in Hollywood. Like you're smoozing somebody. I had somebody. tried, okay, so I had gone to this place, and I ne- like years ago, because I wanted a milkshake. We were there. I wanted a milkshake. And they had like smoothies. It was like a strawberry banana one and like a strawberry kiwi. They had like two options. And I was yeah. like, Ugh. so I had never tried it again. Now they have all kinds of like milkshakes there. Yeah. So um, I got the the cake shake. The cake shake. Cake shake. It was. It has a piece of cake in it. <laughs> um, the rim is lined with like frosting. Yeah. And I will say it just. Sprinkles. It pretty much like I had seen that it was like tasted like cake batter, like you know, like the birthday cake flavor. The cake, the shake part, pretty much just tasted like a vanilla shake. Hmm. Um, it was good though. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I didn't get the like birthday cake flavor in mm-hmm. as much um but Gigi loved the cake oh, she, yeah, she, did. <laughs> she would like not <laughs> she was very demanding of wanting more of the cake um and but it was good yeah I'll, I'll post pictures of the food so you can want to go and get all the food um because the presentation was great yeah it's like really pretty yeah very yummy looking shake yeah. Uh, so after yeah. that, we just we went back over to Disneyland yeah, because it's our wanted... last. It's the only time we're going to be in Disneyland at night. Yeah, and, and Disneyland I also at night is to, like the best thing. I wanted to shop a little bit, mm-hmm. but it, everyone was lining up 
for the parade. So Main Street was already like pretty packed. We weren't planning on riding any rides. Um, and we just went to the Emporium and I, I don't know, I got a couple of things. I don't even remember. I got churro. And, yeah, true. Yeah. And just like real chill. Mm-hmm. That morning when we were in Disneyland between um, Rise, no, I'm sorry, between Space Mountain and Rise, we did like Alice in Wonderland with her. Yeah. You know, just real, just took our time, just did one slow ride with her. Because mm-hmm. um, obviously she doesn't really care, but I still wanted to take her on something. If, like, we, it's just, if we were more determined to do more rides, we could have probably done every single ride in Fantasyland that morning because everything was either five to ten minutes yes when i was waiting for you on space mountain um i was planning on going to take her just me and her on a couple of rides because alice in wonderland dumbo uh the storybook uh no what they, they were all five minutes which yeah, means walk on peter pan was probably i think morning. peter pan was already up to like you know 30 minutes but um i could have just walked on a bunch of rides with her but i i had to make a phone call yeah. So I didn't get to, but, um, but yeah, it was, it was real slow. Mm-hmm. So you could have easily taken your time, but gotten through a bunch of rides cause everyone's heading to rise. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, so that night we just, and we, you know, again, got back a little early, got back, I think to our room, like eight thirty nine o'clock. Yeah. We didn't wait for the parade or anything. Part of me wanted to, um, but I, again, I just didn't want to push her. Mm-hmm. I, if we push her and she doesn't sleep good, then no one's having fun. Yeah. And we were having a good time just having a chill, relaxed time. So, you know, we want to take the boys in the summer. So yeah. we'll watch it then. Yeah. She'll be a little older. But I'll also, push her then. <laughs> unpopular opinion. I don't really like the Electrical Main Street Parade. I don't feel like I've ever seen it. We watched and I it I know once. I've seen it. I know I've seen it. We but, are fans of Paint the Night. Yes. Paint the Night was super fun with yeah. the Owl, Cit- Owl City. Al City, yeah. They're the song from Rick and Ralph. Yeah. Um, our boys, like, loved that song. Mm-hmm. And so it's just, like... I know it's it's sentimental for a lot of people because it's, like, the 50th anniversary this yes, year. Yes, so it's a big deal. And so it's a big deal. I remember seeing it as a kid when, when we went to Disneyland as a as a kid. Really? Yeah. But I, don't, like, I, I really don't remember. I'm sure I did. I'm, but just, I'm just not into it. It's. it's I do want to see the new the new like finale float looks really cute yeah. with all like the Disney animation characters, which I think are adorable. Um, but yeah, it just it wasn't a priority, and so called it an early night. Yeah. Next day was our last day. We yeah. just did California Adventure again. We uh, they're not doing Magic Hour yet. But it was slow. It was everyone, really slow. everyone, like, well, Every- you, you did, you did a story. Like, yeah, there was two large groups. Everyone, or I shouldn't say everyone, half, half of the people going to rope drop web slingers, mm-hmm. and the other half rope dropping racers, because yeah. those are the two individual lightning lanes that you have to purchase separately from Genie Plus in California Adventure. And I, I think no one wants. To pay it for no it wants here. To pay that. Yeah. Um, and no so wants to pay twenty bucks. We decided to do Toy Story Mania. Yeah. Web Slingers wasn't a priority. I did want to do Racers, but we can't take Georgia, so we were going to do Single Rider for that. Mm-hmm. And we pretty much we waited what mm, ten? I think the wait was ten minutes at Toy Story Mania by yeah. the time we got down there. Yeah. Um, and so we did that. Uh, Incredicoaster was still closed. We wanted yeah. to do single rider for that, but it was it was down for the first like hour. The park was open. Um, we did. I took Gigi on the carousel, carousel and then I took her on the Inside Out ride. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we walked over to Avengers Campus because there was a Spider Man show. It's yeah. like five minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know he just does some stunts and some tricks, and you know. It's, some parkour. Some parkour. Um, and you guys, then, check this out. He like rolls over a yeah. crate. Like, wow. Um, parkour. But it's when, you know, though, when he like flings through the air. Yeah, he so flings through the air. Cool. Um, and then I think by that time when Credit Coaster was back up, we did Single Rider for that, which is amazing. Yeah, so good. So good. I think we did uh, 
We did Little Mermaid again. We that was later. That was right before we left. Was, oh, we did racers. We did racers. So here's what we were like. Hey, let's see if Rider Switch works with Single Rider. So we go up. You're gonna do. Or was I going to do it? I, I went first. You went first. That's right. I went first on Incredicoaster. Yeah. So you went first, got a rider switch. You know, she's like, who? I'm like, me. Scan my ticket. And then she saw you going into the single rider line, and she yeah. said, you know. And this, I did the same thing, whereas we walked back. We got you guys situated. Yeah. Well, we, yeah, we just talked about where we'd meet, because I was yeah. just going to go walk around. I was I went down to Hollywood and just yeah. walked around. And and so I walk around, and this is nowhere near as busy as Rise, as like the amount of people in front of the line. So it's you know it's easier to watch people. Mm -hmm. And as I walk into the single rider, I can see her eyeing me. And then right when I walk through, she's like, "Oh, excuse me, sir." He's like, "I can't let you do rider switch if you're doing single rider, because it's like a five minute wait. You'll walk right on, and it's only meant for people to go and stand by." I was like, oh, okay, no, no problem, no problem. She's like, okay, just, just, so, just so you know, for next time. I was like, okay, no problem. And so I thought, yeah, she they're was really gonna, nice about they're it. They're really like, nice you know? about it. Um, so I thought she was still going to allow us to do it, but mm -hmm. as I looked at my app, the the writer switch was there, but then it got del taken out. So yeah, she so obviously it, she deleted, canceled she it. She canceled it. But it actually worked out because in the past, and I'm wondering if Genie Plus has made single rider lines quicker. Yeah. Because in the past. We've done single rider for racers, and it was a wait. Yeah, I've waited so we over wanted, thirty we, minutes. Since we wanted before. we wanted to test out if single rider was faster or lightning lane was faster. Mm -hmm. Also, Splash Mountain single rider. I've waited like half an hour for single yeah. rider on Splash Mountain. So I was like, okay, no big deal. It's just me. I'm going to go through single rider. I again walked right on. Yeah, there were I, people in front of me. I was in. There was probably like six people in front of me for single rider we were all walking down the lane together mm -hmm. and they just brought us all on they were like yeah. oh row one row four row seven like usually i walked yeah, right yeah. onto the car yeah because when i went on i was the only person in line so mm -hmm. i went to there the cast members like okay go up this way and then they called me okay row mm -hmm. three or whatever but usually how it worked was anytime when there was like an odd number of groups. So if, it, if there was like a group of three or a group of five, yeah. then that's when they call a single rider. Right. I don't think they're waiting for do that anymore. They're just kind of just, just filling you in well, but as here's, they come about. But the thing is with, with cars, with racers, is it's, a, it's rows of three. That's true. So if you have two people, if you have four people, you're going to have, you know, well, I guess if you have two people... Um, you know, if you have two groups of two, then there's two single riders. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, yeah, so I walked right on. So I, you know, I, I'm kind of, I didn't do, we didn't do Splash Mountain. Um, I'm wondering how that single rider line is. I'd be curious to try that one just because that one was like, in my experience, was the longest single rider wait Splash Mountain was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways, we got to do it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love racers it's so, so much. It's so great. Yeah. Um, so one one question that we always get now with Genie Plus is like we have friends who like to do a chill day mm -hmm. at Disneyland. They like to go in. They they go they, left. They go left. They go to <laughs> Adventureland, and they like to hit up the Tiki Room. Maybe they get a Dole Whip afterwards, and they kind of Jungle stroll the Jungle Cruise, kind of stroll their way through that way. Um, they're not big into like, okay, let's hit every big ride yeah. one after another. They, they like to take their time. And so they're like, I don't know if we can be able to do that now with Genie Plus. Or are we going to have to be tied to the app? And our answer to that is no. I don't think you so. You don't need to be tied to Genie Plus. If you, if you like to have a chill day where you just like to stroll the park, you like to get some treats, and if you, you like to do, if you don't mind waiting yeah. a little bit. If you don't mind waiting in the standby, you get a snack you know, uh, I, yeah, I think Doing so. Doing Disneyland I mean, is very possible without having to have Genie Plus. It's and, not and, a requirement yeah. to include. Does it save time? Yes. Yes. Do if you, you want to get a bunch of rides. No. I also think I, I, Monday was busy. When we got there, we were like, oh my goodness. Tuesday and Wednesday were not as busy. Mm -hmm. And so. It was the day after Mother's Day. Monday was, yeah. Monday was. Um. Tuesday, Wednesday, we're not as busy. I mean, we got there, 
you know, right before park open and we, the lines into the park were not mm-hmm. long. No. Um, it said there were signs that said no more reservations, but it, it, it really wasn't, it didn't seem that busy. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if you aren't trying to rope drop the big individual lightning lane rides, like mm-hmm. rise of the resistance racers, web slingers, um, then I don't think you'll wait that long first thing in the morning. Yeah. I think you can get a lot done if you're not rope dropping those big hitters yeah. um, because most people are because they don't want to pay an extra $20. Yeah. And that could be a, if you're looking for a strategy is when you, to not rope drop the big rides first, but rope drop the other rides first, like yeah. rope drop, Space, Space Mountain, Mountain or Jungle Cruise. Uh, Jungle, Jungle Cruise, Cruise, you'd probably walk right on. Yeah. Um, you know, California Adventure, go to Par- Pixar Pier mm-hmm. first. Because there was hardly anyone there was down there. There's nobody down there. Yeah. So you can hit up all those rides and and, and bang those out within, you yeah. know, what, half an hour to an hour. Yeah, because if, if Incredicoaster would have been open, oh, yeah. we would have walked right on. There was yeah. no one down there. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, so I I definitely think you can if if you don't mind the rides you do want to ride, you might need to wait. Because then by the time, if you start, like for our friends, if you start in Adventureland, you know, that way, by the time you end the day over by Space Mountain, yeah, there's a good chance you're waiting, you know. Mm -hmm. If you don't get Genie Plus, um, that's not an individual Lightning Lane ride, it's Genie Plus ride. So you, you could wait an hour. There there was, you know, times, um, most of the time later in the afternoon, Space Mountain was about an hour mm-hmm. wait yeah. when we were there. Um, so if you if you end the day on that side of the park, that's going to be one you're waiting yeah. for. Or it might be, if you're going multiple days, you could split it up. Yeah. You yeah. also, I saw, when I went on in Credit Coaster, um, you know, there was a family who was doing single rider. Yeah, you could do that too. Because they didn't care if they sat by each other. They didn't, you know, have, you know, they didn't genie plus it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and they didn't care if they sat by each other. And so they didn't have, they, we waited five minutes. Yeah. So if you're cool with doing a indiv- uh, single rider on some rides. If you um, have young kids, then obviously. That's, yes. That's well, an I issue. Did, no, but... the dad, the, it was a dad and son in front of me. His son was probably about Noah's age. He's probably like nine. Oh, okay. He was like, it's his first time, but he doesn't want to ride with me. He doesn't want to <laughs> sit next to me. Um, and so, I mean, obviously that depends on your kid. Yeah. And depends on you too. Like I want to ride, I want to like experience rides with them, you yeah. know, but, um, but yeah, so I, I think it's just what you're expecting from the day. Mm-hmm. Um, but in our experience, we, we did not ride a lot of rides. No, we didn't. We rode barely any, mm-hmm. really. Um, but we were going into knowing that we were not going to. Yeah. And we had a great time. We had yeah. a great time with her. We didn't push her. She liked the rides we went on. Um, she was in a good mood. She liked all the food. <laughs> um, oh, so. she loved churros. She had her first churro. <laughs> She loved that. Yeah, she really liked the churro. Um, so yeah, but um, and and we could, but we could have. If you also, if you don't have an, a, a small baby, like we could have definitely gone back into Fantasyland and done Dumbo and all of those. Um, you know, they were typically they were around a half an hour wait, like mm-hmm. Snow White, Pinocchio, all those. Um, and we could have done it. We just never pushed her and just kind of walked around and took her time. But I will say though, what I was saying earlier and I got distracted, it, it didn't seem that busy. Yeah. So if it's a really busy day, you know, it, the waits will be longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I still think you can get away with it as long as you're okay with not hitting a bunch of rides. Hmm. If you want it to be chill, I think it can be. I think that's part of the strategy too, is picking when to go. Yeah, oh yeah. It's yeah. Big, you know, the the time of the year. Yeah. And Summer it, months are obviously going to be the busiest. Be crazy. Um, um but you know those um you know mid-May, you know school school still going on or late August school just yeah, started. Maybe like early May cuz mid cuz then there's like graduation, like colleges yeah, so are graduating so that like I'd say early May. Um definitely or, like, not spring break. Yeah. So like April, like 
I've done March where, it, but that was years ago where it was nice. Um, we'll often do like middle of August cause we homeschool. So yeah. <laughs> we've had our first day of school at Disneyland a few times. <laughs> um, and you know, cause everyone's going back to school and, yeah. um, so that's, that's an idea, but, yeah. but yeah, we did it without Genie plus didn't get a lot of rides done, but had a really good time. Mm-hmm. So it's just, you know, kind of your attitude and what you're going in for. We were just wanting to be there. Um, with the boys, it would have been harder because we would yeah. have wanted to get more done. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. But it's possible. Think, you can do I it. I think so. I yeah. think so. I so. think you can still have a good day. It's just, it's your mindset. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, yeah, so uh, we're already getting ready for our next trip in the summer. Uh, I'm not going to say when because it's going to be a surprise for our boys. All they know is that we're going in the summer. We're hoping. We need to find a place to stay. So, yeah, we're, <laughs> we, I, I got the reservations, so, but I need to figure out the hotel situation because it is summer. Yeah. It is peak season. So it's pricey. It is going to be expensive. We also... So. Uh, we need some friends yes. to come. So if you're listening, talk you to me about the dates. You know who you are. Talk to me about the dates because... Because only our friends are listening our, right now. <laughs> who else listens to this? Because, no, Boston wants to go on Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Jack wants to go on Indiana Jones. Both of us want to experience this these rides with them for the first time, mm-hmm. but we can't take Georgia. Yeah. And also Noah doesn't want to do either. Yeah. So, well, I think he wants to do Indiana Jones, but... Yeah. Um, we can't take Georgia. So yeah. we're like, what do we do? We need someone to stay with the baby because I, I can't miss Boston on guardians. I can't. Yeah. So, so our friends out there, you have an open invitation to come with us to Disneyland. <laughs> so talk to me. Just, I'll tell you just, when, just let us know. So. Also Instagram, follow us. <laughs> Dreaming dot of dot Disney dot podcast. Yep. That's it. So I think, I think that's it. Follow us there. We got lots of content. That's another uh, <laughs> reason for our trip to get content for our. That was not a reason. Not we a reason. booked this before. I know. Did we book this before we? No, we, we did it. We booked this when we were in Disney World. I told you. I said I think we should go to Disney because we weren't really sure if we were going to be able to go anywhere for our anniversary because That's of Georgia. True. And I was like, I think we should just take her. Like, yeah. yeah, we can't go away completely without any kids, but we can go away without most of them. Like, <laughs> let's just go. And I think I, I told you I wanted to do that when we were in Disney world. And then That's true. I think you, you may have booked it before we even started this. Maybe, maybe, but I don't remember. it was an added thing. We were like, Hey, we get some video. And, yeah. So uh, anyways, yeah. Follow us. Have any yeah. questions, you know where to find us <laughs> on Instagram. So or some of you know where we live. <laughs> some of you. Some of you know. All right. We will end it here. Mm-hmm. So thanks for listening. Yes. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>